Today, my friends, I have the newest router on the market today. It has a weird little part that I've never seen any router come with before. What's up, everybody? My name is Clint. Welcome to the Tool Reviews on channel. Now, this is the new Flex 24 volt wood router. It's the compact version. And today we're gonna slice and dice, use and abuse. But I already know what some are gonna say. I'm gonna have a couple people come on the channel, leave a comment that I've never seen before. And they're gonna tell me that this router looks exactly like the DeWalt. But here's the thing, it's a router. They all look the exact same. Pretty much every impact wrench looks exactly like the other impact wrench. An impact driver looks exactly like another impact driver. A screwdriver looks exactly like another branded screwdriver. So does that look like the DeWalt? the Milwaukee, the Makitas, yes. But it has a couple of things that they don't. So why don't we get started? Now, right off the bat, this thing is beefy. And when I mean by beefy, it is built extremely well. If you've ever felt a flex tool, they're built extremely well. Got that real nice slag over mold right here. It cups in your hands. Feels real nice like. <clears throat> So you're gonna get a couple different things with this. You're gonna get an adjustable fence. And when I say adjustable, I mean, this thing is pretty freaking real nice like i mean you can adjust up here adjust it up here it's legit also super heavy duty real nice like gonna get a couple different wrenches right here got that sweet sweet dust collection chute you know, it's attaching i'll show you that here in a bit i like what they did here they gave you two different base plates so if you want this more conventional it's like the squared off right here or if you want that larger rounder one well you got that one right there a lot of the more expensive brands, they give you a very small base plate and it drives me crazy because if you're on an edge, you're just like living on the edge. Messes up your work, all that good stuff. So I'm happy that they included two very heavy duty base plates. And then you got, well, this right here. This little thing took me a while to figure out what it did. I literally tried everything to see what this little thing would do. Come on, no, come on. Mm -mm. No. After 15 hours of trying to spin this like a top, I realized that that's not what it was for. See how that tapers out right there? Well, we got a quarter inch going on right now, so I'm just gonna put that down on the inside. I'm gonna tighten that down a little bit right there. Now, you don't have to take this off to do that. I was just trying to give you the, the best view possible because I care about you. Care about your eyes. What happens now is I'm gonna take this and, well, check it out. So I'm gonna go down through it like so. Now I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna bring this up like, that right there. And what that does is it centers it out. So you don't have to worry about your bit being awkward or off center when you're using it. Look at it. Ah! So once you get this attached, and this is if you're changing this out with this. So again, you would just do the same thing and it's gonna line it up perfectly. I've never seen that on a router before ever. And that my friends, well, that's real nice. -like. Now, just to let you know, this only accepts quarter inches. It's not gonna accept half inch. This is like a compact router. But another cool feature on this as well, check this out. Usually you have to hit a button. You gotta hold it down. You gotta try to get up in there and then turn this thing. But what they did really cool right here is, well, they added a lock and unlock switch. So you don't have to worry about holding a button down and then getting in here and messing around with two hands. You just lock it. It won't turn on you. You unlock it when you're ready to go. Oh, nice. All right, so let's put everything back together. Super easy to do. And I'm gonna show you what this thing's capable of doing. It has a lot of power. You have all the adjustments, very simple to make. You got your larger adjustment here. Right here, you got your micro or macro adjustment. So you can make your finer tunings right there. Once you lock it in, it's not going anywhere. This thing feels extremely solid. The build quality on this, it's, you guessed it. Up on top right here, that's your control, your speed, different RPM image. However, what I really like that they did on here, and this is the 5A bat ray, so it's gonna make it a little bit bigger. There's smaller bat rays out on the market, like the 3.5, that's gonna make this thing a little bit more compact. I like that right there, check it out. Yeah. It's an electric digital button right there. I really like that instead of the switch, you know, you just come up, it's right there around your hand. So if I'm wanting to, I can come up this way. If I'm already just kind of working around, I just hit this button, push it. And it's big enough that you can get your hand around it. So even if you're not perfect on there, well, you get the point. Let's do some uh, use and abusing, slicing that. Oh, that's the LED light right there. All right, so in today's video, we're going to be using an original Diablo quarter inch round over bit. How do you know that this is a genuine Diablo blade? Check it out. I don't know why or how it does it, but every time you hear that whip, that means it's a genuine Diablo. Let's put our blade in. Now, if you don't want to, you don't really have to remove this, but for viewing pleasure, we're just gonna put this down and bring it up. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna crank that bad boy down. 
Then I'm gonna unlock it. See now it's spinning freely. I'll adjust this to where I want it. Doesn't need to be perfect for demonstration purposes. Lock it down, that ain't going nowhere. Put on my battery. Well now, what you look see, look see. That my friends, <laughs> that's real nice. But uh, let's hook the vacuum up to this right here. Actually, you know what? Give me a second. I gotta fix this. My OCD is gonna flare up. All right, so Flux does have their own vacuum. I don't have it, so we're using the Milwaukee IA, but any brand should work. Just hook that up right inside, right there, and yeah, you know. So how this fence actually goes on is amazing and the best that I've ever used. So check this out. You got like this little locking button right here, and you got this little notch on the bottom of this right there. You're gonna take this, you're just gonna put that down in like so, and then simply flip this, and it locks it into freaking place. That, my friends, that's real NASA. Again, just pop that in, bring it up about an eighth of an inch, tighten it down, unlock it again, drop that in, take off about a quarter of an inch. This is so cool. Again, just pop that in like so, flip that over and it locks it in. That is, that is awesome. Yep, don't wanna hit any nails, so I'll adjust this out to where I want it. We'll loosen it up like so, bring it right about there, and then lock it down. Here we go. Wow, that does a good job pulling that up. Pulling up all that dust. Oh yeah. Well, we can go faster if we wanted to. Have a little bit of dust right there to the left. That was it. We'll just slide it back. Oh, and pulled it back up. Look, all the way down through. This router's freaking amazing. It's more than amazing. It's real nice. -like. Now, it definitely is a little bit heavier, and this is a bigger bat ray. You can go with the 3.5, the stack lithium, but it's a very powerful, I mean, this thing is built very well in the vibration. You barely feel, I've talked about this before in the Flex, other Flex videos, that the vibration is barely there. Like, you barely feel them, and I love this. I mean, just this fence right here and the guide right here. I mean, it is just fantastic. You can move this all the way out. Just crank that down, loosen that. This pops right out. If you wanted to, you just put it in, lock it down. That is fantastic. Did a great job picking up the dust. The power is there. The build quality is there. The vibration is minimal. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for you to check this out. This is a real deal. This is good stuff. This is professional grade. These are the newest out on the market. So. Let me know what you think. Are you planning on trying this? Have you tried it? And I guarantee if you use this, you're gonna like it. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Let me know, have you used this? What do you think? Now I got a couple other real nice videos for you right here. Check those out. And if you wanna continue seeing more power tools brought to the channel, get subscribed, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out when we do. We upload multiple times a week. Back with more videos soon.